This video will discuss question one, which is a true false statement that goes as follows. If the open loop gain of the oscillator in figure one is real and larger than one for very small signals, the oscillator will reach stable oscillations if all diodes except D9 and D10 are removed. Now, to simplify this figure a little bit, let's first get rid of all diodes which will not be used in this question. To investigate what the effect will be of these two diodes on the behavior of this oscillator, we should first have a close look at the sub-circuit that's characterized by this op-amp. This is what we call an op-amp in inverting operation, and its gain, which we'll refer to as A, is given by minus R5, which is the resistance along the path from the output to the inverting input, over R4, which is the resistance from the inverting input to the input of this amplifier configuration. If the voltage difference between Vc and this inverting input, which will be ground because the plus terminal is also connected to ground, is larger than the forward voltage of one of these two diodes, the respective diode will then start to conduct and behave as a short circuit because it's given in the caption that these diodes are modeled as ideal switches. And that means that the resistance along the path from the output of this amplifier to this non-inverting input will become zero. So the gain will now be approximately negative zero over R4, and that is zero. In other words, the gain of this amplifier it decreases dramatically. And that means that if we have some oscillation in this oscillator, which would be unstable, and meaning that the amplitude would increase every time it would make a loop, around the circuit, at a certain point, the gain here will become smaller. As a consequence, the unstable oscillation will be stabilized. So these two diodes act as clippers. And from that, we may conclude that the statement above is true.